Today, we're going to preview number six Oklahoma versus Kansas. And all that's coming up after the bump. What do you mean oh. you don't subscribe to my son's YouTube channel? Mama, no! Just snap the damn ball, RJ. What's up, kid folks? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step mill. Consider hitting the like and subscribe button because I upload a video every single day. It's always OU related, college football related, sports related. We have a good time. And today, me, my best friend Ron, we're going to preview number six Oklahoma traveling to Lawrence, Kansas to take on the Fighting Less Miles. And one of the things that is really interesting to talk about in this game is, well, Kansas is trash, but they're not a dumpster fire. So there's that. Carter Stanley is a perfectly serviceable quarterback, but Ron, is he is he good enough to beat Oklahoma? I will tell you this. I'm going to give Carter Stanley uh, a huge compliment, and I think that he is a good quarterback. I would go so far to say that if he played for Georgia, Georgia would still be undefeated. Ooh, uh, I'm not saying Jake Fromm. I'm not saying he's the greatest quarterback of all time. But if you give him a little bit, if you give him time, he's actually pretty good. Okay, so there's a conversation. Who's the greatest Kansas quarterback of all time? Oh, it's, it's absolutely your boy, Freeze? Freeze. Mm. Freeze. Nah, I forgot his name. You, you mean Todd? Todd Reese, there you go. Ooh. Ing. So that's the best quarterback of all time. Who's number two? Wow. Who could tell? Wow. Um. Best head coach at Kansas football of all time. They haven't had one. I was gonna say it has to be Les Miles by default, <laughs> <laughs> which is which gets us back on course here, because what we've seen is, yeah, Carter Stanley is perfectly serviceable and capable because he went to Boston College and he got Kansas' first Power Five win in years on the road, and yes, Boston College is actual trash but you know what they stay within single digits of wake forest and wake forest is undefeated and they beat a north carolina team that nearly beat the number one team in the country and transitive properties is what college football is about so if you're looking for ways to gas up kansas this is the way to do that so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna put the battery in your pack right quick and i'm gonna say that puka williams jr torched oklahoma last year Ran right through them. Looked like a Heisman Trophy candidate. Averaged 17 yards per carry against that defense last year. And Puka Williams is the franchise this year. Even as Carter Stanley is perfectly serviceable and, according to Ron, capable of leading Georgia to an undefeated record just by being himself. Which you could take as shade to Jake Fromm, which I did, mm. or you could take as a feather in the cap of Carter Stanley who's saying, what am I even doing at Kansas? Which is essentially what we think Khalil Herbert has done. So here's a little news. Khalil Herbert didn't play. Uh-huh. Did not play against TCU. They got skull dragged by TCU. We're going to talk a lot about that game. But Les Miles was asked what happened to Khalil Herbert, and he said, I don't really want to talk about dudes that ain't here, but I will say that there's a certain rule that limits you to four games if you don't want to play football the rest of the season. I'm like, yo, so Puka man. Williams, dude, go ahead. My man got a DNP personal reasons. Don't give me any of those. It's better than uh, getting the DNP because you're old. Remember that? I, know, I do love those. Remember that? That was fun. All right, so like outside of Puka, outside of Carter Stanley, are we excited about, about this offense? Particularly no. against Oklahoma? No, not really. There's, there's a team that is having a hard time getting out of three and outs. Uh, they do poorly against pressure, and they drop a lot of balls. And what you say about Puka Williams being, he has the stats to say that he is a big play threat, and he has shown it against Oklahoma. But if you looked against last week's game against TCU, I mean, my man was running in a phone booth with both shoes tied together. Like, he could not pure drop. Like, there's not much. Well, okay. And that's the only team that is, that is comparable to whoever they're about to play in OU. Counterpoint. He he was that dude against TCU last year. 11 carries for 33 yards. Gary Patterson, TCU, just know what to do with Puka. And, you know, Puka might have been the best running back in the conference last year. It's kind of debatable. But, you know, if he did pretty well against Oklahoma State, he did well against Texas, he did well against Tech. TCU particularly was able to, quote-unquote, bottle him up. That said, I want to... I wanna, I'm going to bring this up more often. Chuba Hubbard, absolutely outstanding. Real good. Yeah. I think That's he might a, make it. He's, he, he might be a problem this year. He might be a problem. 
So I think Puka Williams Jr. is also a harbinger of things to come. See that SAT word? I'm yeah. Smart. We're thinking now. We're thinking. We're slowing down. We're taking our time. We're seeing the play. We're seeing the field. We're seeing things before they happen here on the RJ Young YouTube channel. Ron, you said TCU is comparable, right, to Oklahoma, or the most comparable of any of the teams they play. Mm-hmm. But I, I kind of want to, I want to bring up now. We thought Kansas might be about something with Boston College. We're getting really just learning that the Eagles actually are trash, because Coastal Carolina beat Kansas twelve to seven. Well, that's a bad score, guys. <laughs> twelve to seven, and then TCU dropped. 51 on them with uh, I don't want to throw too much shade at Max Duggan because I think he's going to be pretty good Mm -hmm. but the joke with TCU is always they're a quarterback away they're still a quarterback away and they put 51 up on Kansas and Jalen Rager bobbled the punt still ran that mug back you're shaking your head the thing that what they did against Boston College, which I thought was going to be something special, I was really thinking, oh man, Kansas might be good. And as much as I'm not a Kansas fan, I do like to see Kansas be good. And that looks like this every day is looking like it was more and more of a fluke that day. Also, Boston College is a, is a, is a tire fire, but I did not necessarily think that this would mean that nothing. Going forward, I didn't think that was going to be a nothing game for Kansas. I just, you got wins against Boston College and Indiana State. <laughs> like, even FCS teams make fun of Indiana State. <laughs> Sorry, Larry, you're just not that good. I was about to say, it's Indiana State is just Larry Bird playing in the backfield. Like, that's it. <laughs> All right, so I do think that there's something to be said, though, about having to stop the run in particular against. A uh, running back that you know have got has got you in the past year. And we could talk about Mike Stoops' defense versus Alex Grinch's defense. Good time to do that right now. This team has given up an average of 150 yards, 153 yards rushing per game. And while Texas Tech was not able to move the ball a ton, when they were able to move the ball, they were able to run it, right? And Jet Duffy at quarterback particularly helped that. One, because Jackson Tiener's garbage. Just trash. Classic. He looks the part. Doesn't piss a drop. Looks like Tarzan, plays like Jane. Mm-hmm. Isn't that the quote? Okay. Yep. And then when Jet Duffy came in, he was able to stretch you going east and west. And Oklahoma's defense was not able to disengage and go and make a tackle. And if anything, that might be what I coach up if I am at Kansas right now. It'd be like, them boys don't know how to get off of blocks. So if you just get in front of them, we got a shot because we got a dude who knows how to run the ball. All right. So if I'm Grinch, I'm going, there's a lot that we can get better at, as he would always say, but particularly get off the block and go make a tackle, all right? Because if you don't do that, they're going to do what they want to do, which is run the ball, and they want to keep the offense off the field. So getting Puka Williams Jr. on the ground is the first step. And then make Carter Williams, or Carter Williams, Carter Stanley do that thing where he has to, you know, throw the ball. And the more he has to throw the ball, the more likely you are to pick him off. Nine TDs to four interceptions this season. And we all know that the takeaways are the thing that Oklahoma wants, right? And, and that's a problem for Kansas because I'll tell you this. It's not hard to get to Carter Stanley. Whew, man, so Neville Gallimore been eaten. He might, he, might, he might get full. He might get full. I mean, I know that the thing for the defense to say here of late is that we're, not, we're still not respected and uh, we're still hungry and we want more and insert cliche here. But Neville Gallimore is the only dude on the defensive line that has been playing at an All-American level. He's had two forced fumbles inside of four games. He's getting in the backfield on a regular basis. I think this change in the defensive front from a two-gap to a one-gap has helped him the most. And you got to remember, this is a dude that was the first Canadian to be invited to the All-American Bowl like in, in the history of the game. And his team wasn't very good in Canada. They had to go to Texas to get games. They get destroyed, but he played well in them. So he ends up at Oklahoma, and he's a redshirt senior, and we've been waiting on Big Canada to do big things. And in this game, I would not be surprised to see there's like seven sacks because, as you said, the offensive line for Kansas is bad. But if they can get a hole and they run the ball well, that'll be something different. But if you get them in pass rush situations, right? So they did this thing against Texas Tech Mm -hmm. where they took Kenneth Murray Jr., who is literally your best defender, fight me. 
put him on the edge on third down, like in a stand-up seven or a stand-up nine, and said, go kill somebody? Mm-hmm. Can you imagine Kenneth Murray Jr. being able to do that against this Kansas defense or Kansas offense? Yes. And it, yes, I can. It just it's gonna be all it's gonna be all the whole time. It's gonna be fun. All right. So outside of that, we know that they drop passes. We know that Carter Stanley can't be picked off, and we know that the only weapon they have is Puka Williams Jr. Flip to the other side of the ball. They're bad. They're 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 really bad. Like. I knew that Joe Deneen graduating, finally, was going to do something to the defense, but they run this 3-3 three, three stack, 3-2-5, three, or 3-2-6 look, and I'm going, do you just want to get run on? Apparently. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Yeah. So, I mean. So much so that I think that it's a philosophy that we're going to keep the ball in front of us and try to remove as many big plays as possible. And I'll say this. If Oklahoma wasn't the type of team to score in three plays— uh, this game could be over in 45 minutes. And, you know, I was hoping that was the case with Texas Tech because you're going, you're looking at the scoreboard and you're going to run the ball, please. 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 Matter of fact, this is my, one of my favorite stats to insert, two favorite stats to insert from the Tech game. First one is Jalen Hurts had 485 yards, give or take, which is in three quarters. That's a lot. Tech had 314 in four quarters. And the second one is, and this is an inside joke for OU fans, Jalen Hurts threw for 400 yards on a Kerry Cooks secondary. How about that? So, Kerry Cooks was a secondary coach at Oklahoma last year. And, well, OU made every quarterback look like a Heisman candidate. I am. I'm really excited to see what the future looks like for the quarterback position at OU. Because two years ago, I said, this Baker Mayfield may be the best I've ever seen. Baker Mayfield followed it up with, man, Baker Mayfield might be the best I've ever seen. Then they had Kyler Murray. He might be the best I've ever seen. And Jalen Hurts is putting up numbers that are better than all of them, thinking, uh, where are you going to go from here? Oh, you fans, you're ruined at quarterback. Uh, well, because Spencer is going to be better than all of them. And this is – I'm in a position now where I get to talk to some people who know from the NFL. Um, by the way, I, sp- I shook Brandon Bean's hand. That was fun. Said, hey, how are you doing? Mm-hmm. And he said, I'm doing well. That was the that was the end of the conversation. For anybody wanting to know, that's very solid. Yeah, cool like, story, bro. There were there were two GMs and two assistant GMs at this tech game, scouting talent, and there were like nine NFL teams. But the thing that's been said is Rattler's good. Like people that know from pro football are like, no, nah, he can sling it. Saw enough. We've seen enough already. He can sling it. So when he gets to be the starter. Say goodnight, college football. And this is in an era where the best quarterbacks in college football are ridiculous. Like, Tua Tagovailoa might finish third in the Heisman voting, and he's throwing 76% completion percentage. 1,700 yards passing in five games. Like, Wait, three 400-yard passing games. We make the reference, the, the comparison that these are just video game numbers. And we used to say that a lot. Ten, now you got to give an NCAA ten, rating. Ten, ten years ago, right? Um uh, but now they're actually doing it. Now they're saying now now they're at the level of no, you can't pick OU. <laughs> I'll turn it off. All right. So I want to talk about just what Oklahoma's scheme against Kansas is going to be, such as it is. But first, a message from my bookie. <clears throat> I would only recommend a service to my listeners that's proven. That's why my bookie is always the right play. You bet, you win, they pay. My bookie lets you bet on college coaches getting fired, who will make the college football playoff and win the Heisman Trophy. You can even bet on halftime lines, live odds, or FBS versus FCF games for all you Alabama fans out there. Call to action. I shouldn't have said call to action, but I said it. It's in here now. You can get up to $1,000 in your first deposit bonus, double your first deposit. Use the promo code RJ to activate the offer. Visit MyBookie online today. That's M-Y-B-O-O-K-I-E. And don't forget to use the promo code. It's my name, RJ. No periods. Just, you know, capital R, capital J. When creating your account to claim the bonus bet, when get paid. I put on my glasses because I wanted to be able to mark where this is in this upload, because I'm lazy. 
So we're talking about what the offensive game plan is going to be. And I don't know if you told if I if you remember me telling you, but I said that you should run the ball against this tech defense because the secondary is actually pretty decent. And they were decent enough to get an interception, but you really didn't have to run the ball. You could throw 440 yards because CeeDee Lamb and Charleston Rambo just outrun everybody. I'm going to say it again. I think you should run the ball because, one, you want to keep Jalen Hurts healthy. And, two, you're still working out some stuff with your offensive line because I don't know if you noticed, but you've had a different offensive line for each of the games, right? So your starter at left tackle against Houston, R.J. Proctor, your starter against – or. Yeah, I already messed that up. R.J. Proctor was starting, okay? Then you got Marquise Hayes. Then in this latest game, you have had Bray Walker at right guard because Adrian Ely was out. You want to get these dudes as many reps together as possible, and you want to get them on linebackers as quickly as possible because they can get to the second level and you're better off. And you got a three-headed monster at running back in Trey Sermon, Ramondre Stevenson, and, of course, Kennedy Brooks. They had 17 carries for 177 yards, I understand that everybody wants Jalen Hurts to win a Heisman Trophy and to compete for a national championship, but there are people like, just give me the natty, and that'd be fine. But run the ball against dudes that are going to put three men on the line of scrimmage with their hands on the ground. Yeah, and they ain't big dudes anyway. So go, like, that's why I say that this game could be over in 15, 15 or 45 minutes because if all you decided to do, what you said, run the ball, secure a win, they can put string together 12, 15 play drives and there would be nothing that Kansas could do against it. Are you at all concerned about the kicking game? I'm sorry, the what? See? See? All you Gabe Burkich and Callum Sutherland and Reeves Munchow fans? What are we doing? I'm surprised that they even kicked the ball. They kick, they kick extra points. They, they kick for, some field goals. They should go for two this game. Just to make it interesting. Yeah. You know, like... I got matter of fact, talk for a second. I'm gonna pull up the line. Okay, so one of the big problems with uh, Kansas Kansas defense right now is on top of not being able to give up or sustain any sort of three and outs for a particular team, they have uh, they are too small and not talented enough. Not to say that they aren't decent, but they cannot force any turnovers. So whenever they're playing somebody like, for example, TCU. They're on the field for the entire game. And you can't be on the field for the entire game and expect to be successful unless you are somehow getting lucky enough by stripping for uh, fumbles, ca causing interceptions, uh, generally being a nuisance. And they have they have no playmakers. I understand no playmakers, but they're small and weak. That's And that's a, that's a big problem whenever you're going up against maybe one of the best offenses that a particular school has maybe ever had. And it, it's also just wildly problematic if you're trying to do something other than focus on Bill Self getting, you know, served with papers, essentially, right? Because that's what Kansas football is dealing with right now, too. Because I don't know if you noticed in there, but in, in the service of papers that the NCAA sent mm -hmm. to Kansas, Bill Self in particular, there's a, there's a nice little surprise nugget in there about Kansas football that oh. uh, David Beatty picked up some sort of violation mm -hmm. but i don't know if you remember this but isn't it wild to think that david Beatty once put up a well a cardboard fence around jamar chase's house because he had him secured you know jamar chase lsu okay so Beatty can recruit and that was the that was the thing you know what i've been looking for this line i'll probably have this line in in the description or somewhere else but flash it, flash it on the screen that's a lot of work never but don't flash it on the screen I just, I didn't tell you that. I mean, it feels like you just want me to work. You know how often I upload on this show? Every single day. We have a good time. Sometimes twice a day. Sometimes four times a day. All I do is work. You know? Just like Kansas, all they do is lose. All I do is work. If anything, Kansas is going to be gassed up to play this. Because if, if I know anything, Les Miles is going to do his pregame speech with both a gun and a knife. <laughs> And tell them that you've got a chance to shock the world and they'll believe it and they're going to come out hidden. If you've ever heard that I took the job at LSU, you should know that's a lie. K. <laughs> oh, Les Miles, he's good. 
oh man, uh, just, hey, go out there and get destroyed for the Gipper. Do you know he wants to bring back fullbacks? Looking at his offense against TCU, yes, I can absolutely believe that. They ain't, ain't very my, good. My, my man. They ain't very good. Living in the past. All right. I think that about covers it for Oklahoma versus Kansas. Give Ron a follow at Ron of All Trades on Twitter and Instagram. Okay. And uh, you can follow me, I don't know, in line at Walmart to check out. That's it for me. Doses. <laughs>